Hey guys, this is Comic Uno, and today I'm doing a video on the new kind of tease DC titles that came out of Comics Pro, uh, the retailer uh, meeting slash a conference that, that happened last week. And I want to discuss and, and speculate what these titles are about. So let's get started. First up, we have Deathstroke Inc. So that's the first title they announced. And you know, it's interesting, last time we saw Deathstroke was his own series, you know, it was a, a popular run with Christopher Priest, and what was cool about that series, it wasn't just a Slade series, it was about his kids and his family as well. Now, also we do have remnants of Deathstroke in Future State. We had Nightwing kind of wear a similar Deathstroke outfit, and then also we had the appearance of Ravager in the Jason Todd backup stories, and we also know that Ravager is gonna show up in the Robin series. So we do have, a, again, some remnants of Deathstroke, and does Deathstroke Inc. have to do with more of the Nightwing stuff going on, or will it be Deathstroke and family working together as, who knows, assassins or whatever. So I'm curious to see what that's about. Is it also maybe international because we had the Batman Inc. stuff that was more out of Gotham. So I think there's a lot of possibilities with that title. Uh, and also a title I'm very much looking forward to and, and probably more of the ones I'm more excited for. The one I'm most excited for is Harley Quinn, the animated series sequel. What is this about? Does, is this related to the current animated series, which I love and is my favorite show on TV right now? Or is it related to Batman, the animated series? Or, and they're just like calling it Harley Quinn, the animated series. Because the sequel is what confused me on that one. I, I didn't know there was a Harley Quinn animated series comic already. So I'm, I'm curious to see what that's going to be all about. Moving on to Wonder Woman's celebration of her 80th anniversary. So I'm sure this is going to be an anthology, a one-shot. Uh, we've already seen some celebration with Wonder Woman with the sensational Wonder Woman, I believe it's called. It was a digital series. It's coming out printed soon or already came out. So it's nice to see her celebrate it. I'm not a huge fan of the anthologies, though, so I don't know if I'll pick that up. It'll depend on the week. Now, Elseworld is another one, so we're, we're getting different worlds, which will be interesting. Again, will it be something that could go on an ongoing pace? Will this be a miniseries? What worlds will they focus on? Will it be a different world every issue? And if so, do you need to pick up all the issues? And will it connect to the bigger DC universe or is it just a fun one-off? Uh, moving on to one that was uh, I was surprised by, which is DC Vampires, okay. Didn't expect that one. It's cool to see DC delve into horror titles and, and I like vampire stories, but I don't know what that's gonna be about. Who's it gonna be about? Is it just like Batman as a vampire? Do I wanna see Batman as a vampire? I don't know. That, that one sounded a little weird, but you know, sometimes the experimental titles can be great. Another one is Robin and Batman, and that's how it's worded here. It's not Batman and Robin, it's Robin and Batman. Now, obviously curious, will this be a Damian Wayne and Bruce Wayne title? Will it be maybe another Robin, Tim Drake, and some other character? Could it be the two Tims? Could it be the, the next Batman and Tim Drake? That'd actually be a lot of fun. Two Tims uh, would definitely be a series I, I would read. So I'm curious... It, exactly who will be in this title. I think there's a lot of options, but again, why is Robin the name that goes first? You never usually see that, especially on like a, se a selling level. Like you're always gonna have Batman first. I I'm curious if it was just worded for the, the press press release that way, or if it actually is worded f that way for a reason. Next is Joker, a puzzle box. And my guess with the title like that, it's probably a, a black label book. We've seen one-offs like Harley Quinn, Criminal Sanity, whatever that title was. Uh, I think Joker had a the, the Killing Smile or some smile book in, in black label as well. So it kind of sounds in that vein more than the mainstream. So, and also Joker's got an ongoing book. So to, to have like a mini series book, do we really need that? It's a lot of Joker. Speaking of Batman, we do have The Legend of Batman. I don't know what this is gonna be about. Will it be the history of Batman? Am I interested in that? And there's just so many Batman titles. What's gonna be different about this one than any other Batman title? Another one I'm really excited for is Crush and Lobo. I love Crush and I think 
her dynamic with Lobo will be very interesting. We saw a little bit in Teen Titans, and I'm glad that they're they're pioneering Crush's character because I thought she was great in Teen Titans. I, I, I'm glad she has a home to stay at, and, and hopefully she'll show up in like Teen Titans Academy or whatever, uh, but I'm glad that she's getting a series of her own as well. And it makes sense with Lobo and the, the popularity of, of his character. And, and it'll be interesting to see the father-daughter relationship there and, and why they're even hanging out. Next up is Nubia and the Amazon. So we did have a story with her in the backup of Immortal Wonder Woman, I believe. So it's cool that she's getting the title. I, I haven't been able to really get into the character, but maybe a series will, will help that out. And last but not least is DC's Middle Ages. Uh, you know, I think definitely not my thing. I'm usually not into the period pieces, but it looks like it's a, a one-off, right? It's going to be just like, oh, what if, again, what if Batman was in the Middle Ages? At least that's what it seems like. We'll see. Again, not a huge fan of that. Maybe King Arthur will show up or whatever. Uh, so th there's definitely some titles where it's like, okay, what direction are they going to go? Because there's, there's no pictures or anything. We really just have the titles. So it'll be fun to speculate. But let me know in the comments below, what do you think is going to come out of all these titles, especially, you know, the ones that I feel like could go either way, like a Robin and Batman book or or DC Comics Middle Age. What are you most excited for? And be sure to subscribe and like this video. It really does help the video and helps the channel. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Definitely follow me on Twitter and Facebook. Go check out my comics like Father Like Daughter and They Call Her a Dancer and every Tuesday at 10 p.m. Eastern Time. It's Comic Book Weekly where we discuss our favorite comics and comic book news. Thanks, guys. Bye.